All right, thank you. Well, to start with, we'd like to give a token of appreciation to our outgoing president, Art Martinez. Art did an outstanding job for us this year. I had hoped to get in a little more practice up here, but as far as I know, he only missed one meeting. Is that correct? <laughs> That's remarkable. Uh, Art, you'll come forward, please. Sure. We present you with this. today. President, uh, Secretary, have your officers been duly elected and everybody's on board? Yes, ma'am, they have. All right, got a great slate here. All right, uh, you know when Melvin Jones started Lions Clubs, he wanted it to be a place when men and uh, the people, the members could go and enjoy each other's company and forget about the troubles of their business for a little while and just have a good time. So he uh, put fun into the meetings. Thus, we have our line, our uh, tail twisters. He was also a baritone singer, and he loved to be in the choir. So that's why we have music in our uh, programs. And he loved God and country, and so we put all these things into our meetings. And I like to, I think that most of the clubs that I've visited this year that are like y'all's are the reason that they've grown and they're bigger is because they have a lot of camaraderie, they have a lot of fun. And so today, even though this is very serious, we are installing your new members, we're gonna try and make it a little fun as well, okay? So, uh, as a, a lion officer, you have many hats you have to wear. And so, what I'm going to do is present each person a hat that represents their job, okay? And so, what I want you to do, as I call you up here, I will present you your hat, ask you if you're willing to take the duties of your office, and then I want you to make a line over this way so that we can get one good picture with everybody's hat on, then we'll let you take them off for the paper picture. Okay. The first person up is Bill Goodwin. He's your lion tamer. Hey! All right. You have been elected as lion tamer, and you're responsible for all the club's paraphernalia, the flags, the property. You're right. The gavel, the badges. And you assist the past presidents as an official greeter and guest welcomer. Do you agree to the term as line payments? I do. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright. No picture, buy any picture, just take it. <laughs> Tail twister. Anthony. Anthony, where's Anthony? Where's Anthony? Be careful, Bobby. Don't mess up your character. All right, Anthony, you've been elected as tail twister, and you're supposed to keep the harmony and encourage good feelings and um, impose and collect fines at the meetings. And uh, you're supposed to help people forget their worries for the day, or for the little hour here. And you're making uh, the Lions Club a great place to be. Can you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Uh, I can, whether they appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> That's up for you, man. You can't get too bad a thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, Paula, you've been elected as membership chair, and as such, you're going to be looking for members and uh, trying to keep the ones that are here happy. Because, you know, we lose a lot more in retention than we do in new membership. We gain lots of members every year, but we got to retain them, too. So the job of the membership chair is to make sure everybody's happy and find out why we're losing people as well as getting new people. So while you're doing that, you're fishing around, you're looking everywhere. You are looking for two members.
This is a very important job. Yes. Don't we know? It is. Um, and I know. I've had it. I had it about five or six years myself. But you are the main communicator between us and LCI, and so your job is very important. And you have to work pushing the right buttons um, and recording the information.
I think you have to wear them the rest of the day. Wear them the rest of the, the rest of the meeting. The rest of the year. Y'all share them with your Facebook page, and everybody's got it. Oh, don't forget who you are. <laughs> All right, and I need President Gary. Yeah. All right. This was one of your Gary, it is my pleasure. <laughs> It's my pleasure to duly install all the officers and especially you as president. And I would like to give you your pen and your gavel with your club's love and esteem and confidence that you will do a great job next year. Thank you. Kind of reminds me of something that happened a few years ago. Some of you may remember it. I, I was sitting out enjoying my meal, and um, Pitt came up to me. He said, Gary, we got a problem. Our program's not going to be here. I go, oh, wow, what do you want me to do? He goes, well, we need you to deliver a program for us. I said, well, I'm not prepared for that. I don't have anything. He goes, oh, you can do it. Just trust me. You'll do it. Well, you really need me. I'll do it. <laughs> so I come up, and I didn't know what to talk about. And so excuse me, I thought I'd talk about sex. Oh. So, afterwards, a lot of people came up, a lot of congratulatory remarks. It was really well done. And uh, I get home that night, as usual, Casey gives me a big hug. I said, well, how was your day, babe? Had a great day. She says, uh, and I, I tell her that every day, because I do have a great day every day. She said, well, what, what's so great? I said, well, for one thing, at Lions Club, I got to do the program. I gave a speech. She goes, really? What was it about? I go, sailing. <laughs> she goes, sailing. I said, yeah. She says, okay. So the next day, she was at the bank. She ran into Papa Joe. Oh. So oh. Papa Joe came up to her and said, Casey girl, I want you to know. You hear me, Pop? Pop. Wake him up. <laughs> Pop, you're, you're, you're the part of the joke. <laughs> so, I digress. So Casey bumps into Papa Joe at the bank and, uh, he says, Casey girl, I got to tell you, Gary did a great job yesterday at Lions Club with that speech. And Casey says, yeah, he, he told me, but I didn't know that he knew anything about it. He's only done it twice. The first time he got seasick, second time his hat blew off. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, I want to thank Art again for your service last year, and David is stepping down as treasurer. Wow. We want to thank him. David, how many yeah. years have you served as treasurer? Seven, Seven years. Yeah. That is a tough job. I hate to see him go. He's, he's really helped uh, to get me prepared for this. And uh, Gil as well, particularly he's helped Gil. Gil Crawford's going to be our new treasurer, and I'm sure he's going to do a great job for us. Hopefully he'll have at least seven years in. So uh, <laughs> thanks to these two. And... Uh, Appreciate it. Well, I joined the club when I was 25 years old. That was 32 years ago. Uh, I'm, in my, I'm in my 32nd year now. It's been 31 years ago. And uh, I, I think I'm a little overdue, but uh, I guess finally I'm, I'm getting my turn up here at the podium. I, yes, I put it off as long as I could, trust me. Bid, bid worked on me and worked on me. I said, no, 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 no. I finally, I couldn't say no anymore. So, uh, I'm looking forward to serving in this year. It's a real significant year in Lionism. It's our 100th year uh, of Lionism. Lions Club was started in 1917. And um, anyway, it's just a really great year, I think, to serve in this capacity. Our club, as you know, uh, was formed in 1941. Um, we celebrated our 75th uh, anniversary last year. Kathy did an amazing job with that uh, ceremony that we did for that. Thank you. Amen. And, uh, got a really, really strong club here. It's quite remarkable. I want to uh, go over some numbers with you to illustrate that. So worldwide, there are approximately a million four hundred thousand members in Lions uh, Club. Uh, the USA has the largest membership at 315,000. The second largest is India with 240,000. It, it is 
really growing. Unfortunately, the United States membership is on the decline. But uh, worldwide, the membership is growing. Uh, India has 240,000. Japan has 120,000. South Korea, not North Korea, has 80,000 members. Maybe we need some lionism in North yeah. Korea. It certainly bonds the world better, doesn't it? Germany has 52,000. China has 48,000 members. In the United States, uh, Texas leads the membership in the United States with 25,000 members. 869 clubs. Um, there's 16 districts in the state, uh, ours being 2S1. We have 51 clubs, 1,701 members in our district. Our district starts down at uh, Sabine Pass, goes over to Trinity, up to um, Palestine, and then over to, I think it's up to Jacksonville, actually, further, and then over to Carthage, and then back down the Sabine River. So uh, there's, um, how many members are in our There's 51 clubs, I, I stated that. Well, we're number 10 in the state in size. There's only nine clubs larger than Livingston, Texas. I didn't know that either. I was surprised. We, the largest club is Lubbock with 327, Conroe with 301, Lufkin, who is also in our district, they're the largest club in the district, number three in the state, 265. I think that's the Lufkin host club. There's two clubs in Lufkin. So they have 265. Um, only one club uh, that's larger than us is in a is in a smaller community. Wimberley has uh, more members than us, and they're in a much smaller community than Livingston. To me, this is very impressive. We have a really tremendous group of lions, really diverse group of lions. We have fun, as Bobby stated, and I think that is key to the thing. Uh, one thing that we really have is a really good group of young lions, and uh, some of them are. John Allen, who's following behind me as first vice president, Rachel and Marty, uh, Mitch and, and Josh, and Brother Mike, and uh, Kim, and Jenny. I can go on and on. Jenny uh, Hermes. A lot of really good. Uh, Perry's another one right there. Jared. You guys are the future of our club. I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh, Don, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Don. I'm the other end. You're the, one of the young guys. Benny's, Benny's but, but as good as we are now, we can be even better. And it doesn't take much. All it takes is just a little extra effort. We, we proved that last year with some of our fundraisers. Just a little extra effort, and you put that fundraiser over the top. When, you, when you're giving your raffle tickets to sell, sell those tickets. And if you don't sell them, by all means, get them back to the club so that we can sell them. We don't want to wind up the day of the raffle with unsold tickets. That goes for the fish fry tickets, the raffle tickets. Make an extra effort. Don't call on somebody to buy those tickets or buy those mops and brooms. Ask that person to come join, to come visit Lions Club. Ask them to come and visit. We don't need to ask them to join. Just ask them to come. They may like it. They may be the next line. You really don't know. It's all about volunteering time. Um, this club, as good as it's doing, in, in spite of the country, um, countrywide numbers are going down, and um, I think we can even grow the club even better. We stand at, what's our number now? We had to change overnight, actually. One, 136, we think, is our number right now. So I, uh, I, I know in the past we've had membership drives. Uh, Mr. Jackson, I know, chaired a membership drive or two in his day. And I can recall in the old days we did that pretty often. I don't know that we need a membership drive. I just think each person should ask somebody to come and visit and see if they like lionism. But let's do that. Let's, let's ask people to buy our, our, our uh, tickets, our, our products, and, and to come and visit. Uh, get involved in, in leadership of the club. Uh, serve on the boards. Uh, serve as a, a, a chairperson of an event. Help that chairperson so that you can learn how to chair an event. Uh, every chairperson could use some help. Get involved. Find one you like. They all become your pet after a while. Bill. He, we just had to pry the, the uh, Bob Broom cell out of his hands. He didn't want to give it up. <laughs> Man, which, by the way, I do need a mop and broom chairperson and going to need a lot of help with the Christmas tree sales also. Cecil's agreed to help me again with the uh, 
the uh, golf tournament, and Josh McMahon is going to step up and help with our outdoor announcement. I know Andy will help him, and, and John Allen will help him. Uh, but if we'll all just take and sell some tickets, that's really all the help that anybody needs with this. So, again, get involved in the club, become a, a director, become an officer, and just don't take uh, 32 years to do it. So, thank you very much. <laughs>
Beth Smith, and David Fraser, and of course all the greeters that did a super job, you know. So thank you all for these good memories that uh, I take with me. And thank you all.